and in terms of their PV bleeding. You want to say, so what you basically want to say is, is PV bleeding, but in terms of my the, the patient's reproductive status, where are they? Are they uh, premenses or before menarche? Premenarchal. So are they before? Are they? Is it this? Is this a female bleeding? Is it someone that has not gone for their periods yet? Then that's premenarchal or premenses. And then you say PV bleeding is someone who's reproductive. Repro. Active. Remember, a patient that a patient that uh, is not uh, okay, a patient that is reproductive, they can either be pregnant or non-pregnant. Pregnant or non-pregnant. So you want to do yes, you will take the history. Even if it's unlikely for them to be pregnant, if they if they are reproductive, even if it's unlikely for them to be pregnant according to the history, always do a pregnancy test because I remember a, a PV bleeding woman is pregnant until uh, proven otherwise. Not unless it's someone who's in the if they are in their reproductive uh, um, phase or reproductive uh, years then it's pregnant until proven otherwise it's the most common this is what we have this is what we covered yesterday pv bleeding patient is reproductive uh, and is pregnant meaning the hcg was positive beta hcg is positive so so your approach now to this patient because these are the things that you wanted to find out very fast so your approach now um okay let me just do this first oh if they are in the they're in a it's post a uh, postmenopausal menopausal so these are your patients if they are pregnant if they are pregnant you want to know is it less than 22 weeks is it greater than 22 weeks if it's more than 22 weeks this is APH if it's more than 22 weeks then it means it's APH now like I said yesterday it becomes an obstetrics uh, obstetric emergency so the, it's an obstetric cause make a specific topic for this on, on its own now i'm just giving you a broad uh, overview so that when we talk about pv bleeding you know exactly where to fit the patient what matters where do you fit your patient because if you don't know where to fit your patient you will do investigations that are unnecessary like for instance it doesn't really make sense if a five-year-old comes in with pv bleeding and then you do a pregnancy test because they are not in their reproduct that finds that sounds very funny but <laughs> when you are confused you do anything PV bleeding on a 55 year old. Yes, those ones maybe, maybe, but 60 year old, 70 year old, you've got no business doing a pregnancy test there. You see? Because it's postmenopausal bleeding, which has got its own as well. It has got its own uh, approach to it. We will talk about these things, but I'm just giving you now a broad overview. So our patient is, like I said, PV bleeding, productive years. Preg test positive, less than 22 weeks. This is, uh, you think about miscarriages here. You think about miscarriages. And we spoke about the different types of miscarriages, threatening, uh, incomplete, complete, misty. And then after that, we spoke about septic abortion or septic miscarriage. Go and follow those. Most of the patients that come in are here. Here and here. 